Hey everyone, Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a weekly track roundup where I go over a bunch of songs that have dropped over the past week or so, and I tell you whether I loved them, hated them, or fell somewhere in between. They're all going to be, be linked down below, so you can check them out for yourself. God, that's the point of this segment. <laughs> Why do I need to explain it every time? <laughs> what is wrong with you? Uh, also link down below is our turntable lab link if you want to use it to get some records a record player bluetooth speakers whatever we get kicked back from it that would be great that would be greatly appreciated thank you uh, also linked down below too is our patreon page extra bonus monthly content over there yeah uh, for a nice cheap monthly tier uh, and supports the channel directly too all right, uh, and uh, the Needle Drops short form content page on YouTube is also a great place uh, for all of the uh, short stuff and commentary stuff that we do, tiny video style, uh, which you can check out for yourself as well. And uh, yeah, worst tracks of the week. Let's get into it. We have a full uh, smorgasbord of awful tracks this week. Uh, quite a few came out, actually. It's a little heavy weighted on the bad track side this week, kicking it off with uh, <clears throat> Zane, who is still trying to convince us that he's successfully going to make a bit of a singer-songwriter run here uh, with his second single, where his vocals sound painfully goofy, and uh, I just absolutely cannot stand them. Alienated is the name of the track, and I just have a feeling I'm going to pass on this album cycle, possibly. Uh, we also have this new one from Thursday, who are back uh, with this kind of... I don't know, an emo, prog rock, a butt rock hybrid with this new track application for the, uh, or sorry, release from the dream. And um, yeah, the vocals are obnoxious. It's just very, uh, I, I would say tedious, uh, way too long of a listen. Uh, not really feeling it, unfortunately. Uh, we have a new one also, Espresso from Sabrina Carpenter, which is handily one of the stiffest pop songs I've heard in a while, especially on the vocal end where things are sounding quite awkward, I would say, quite awkward. Uh, moving on from there next, uh, we have Rick Ross, who has kind of thrown his hat into the whole Drake diss beef thing. He's gone rogue, done his own separate diss track where he's like uh, calling Drake out as, as being white. It's weird. It's weird. It's uh, definitely odd and um, I don't know, not, not really amounting to much of anything, though. Uh, to his credit, he has gotten BBL Drake um, trending. Uh, so there is that. All right, uh, moving on. Uh, moving on from there, uh, we have Mr. Omar Paulo, who has come through with a, a new track, "Spite," which, of course, is a very underwhelming and Frank Ocean coded per usual. Just not really much to say about it outside of that. Uh, and we have a new one also from Ken Carson, who is sounding uh, also very mid per usual with some uh, ridiculous bars. One about uh, you know, eh, ing the wrists. Um, yeah, I mean, his flow is a bit more on point than it used to be, but the bars are still trash, the songwriting is still trash, and it's just about the most average uh, opium-style instrumental that you're going to get out of that camp uh, today. And um, also, Megan Trainer and Jimmy Fallon doing a song for a Netflix thing about Pop-Tarts involving freaking Jerry Seinfeld and... Um, What's her face? What, this this is a nightmare. This is a, I'm in hell. I am living in hell right now. Let's move on to the tracks I was on the fence uh, with. I wasn't crazy about them, but you might like them more than me. They are as follows. Uh, we have a new one from Tinashe, which I I wish I liked this single more. And you know, don't get me wrong, there are parts of it that I I identify with. Who's gonna match my freak? But with that being said, I feel like the chorus and the verses just sound too separate from each other. There's not a good cohesive flow between the both of them. And on top of it, it's it's not her most harmonious, melodically gratifying song or lyrically detailed song either. I mean, you know, um, those little earworms of, I'm such a nasty girl. I mean, they kind of go, but I just wish there was more to the song than that. You know, it's, it's maybe just a bit too skeletal uh, in my opinion, but I, I, I am still excited uh, for this kind of second installment of uh, Baby Angel that uh, she has on the way. Uh, moving on from there, Ringo Starr 
with with the throwback sexy boy pick uh, off of his uh, forthcoming EP, Crooked Boy, he's got um, a pretty average, almost Oasis type throwback rock tune uh, as a teaser on this new EP titled February Sky. It's not too bad. It's passable. It's respectable. Uh, moving on from there, High on Fire has come through with a new track, Cometh the Storm, with some amazing riffs, incredible riffage uh, all over this track. It's just a shame that the vocals are pretty uh, underwhelming, just way too buried in the mix. Uh, it sounds like they're recorded kind of badly, too. It just kind of seems like uh, the song has everything going for it outside of the vocals, and uh, usually the vocals on High on Fire records are pretty solid, so that's a bit of a shock there. Uh, moving on from there. Dua Lipa drops the weakest of the three singles for her upcoming album. It's still a solid dance pop song, but I feel like she's kind of doing a bit of a second dip back into the, uh, you know, disco tinged Barbie soundtrack well here with something a bit darker, a bit more mysterious. I, I like the lyrics. I like the narrative of the track, but I just feel like instrumentally, melodically, the past two singles were a lot more standout. Uh, moving on from there, Death from Above 1979, uh, 1979 has seen fit to drop a noisier, rougher, rawer version of Going Steady, um, I, I guess for this uh, forthcoming, you know, project and celebration uh, for, uh, you know, the 20 uh, year anniversary of their uh, breakout, influential, incredible debut album. And uh, yeah, I mean, there's nothing really about it that I would, uh, you know, prefer over the original track. But uh, if you want to hear something that's kind of punkier, noisier in terms of a, you know, a version of going steady, uh, give it a spin next. Uh, Chloe, 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 Chloe Bailey has, uh, uh, I guess suddenly decided to go into a bit of a singer songwriter guitar mode direction on this new track over here. Boy, bye. Um, some of the swears in the lyrics are kind of funny and, um, you know, definitely got a chuckle out of me, but, uh, I, I still feel like she's just kind of struggling to find her sound, find her direction, find her, something she's just kind of struggling and floundering a bit trying a bit of everything and um not really committing to anything that sounds true to her and specific to her and i'm just kind of hoping um that that happens at some point in the near future because i, I feel like she's got too much talent to be you know continuing to put out music that's just kind of okay uh moving on from there 1999 right the future have a new one out featuring um None other than Gene Dawson, uh, who has kind of come through with a little bit of a spacey, dark indie rock, hip hop hybrid track on this fit check freestyle song. It's not the most cohesive track I've ever heard, but it is, uh, you know, definitely specific to Gene's sound. And uh, it's kind of a interesting crossover regardless. All right. Best tracks of the week. We have a handful of those. Actually, quite a few of those. I lied. I like quite a few best tracks of the week. Pay attention because there are some bangers in this list. They are as follows, but bam, a new one from Yorl Droog, Method Man, Denzel Curry, teaming up on a Mad Lib beat. Um, and, and believe it or not, Yorl Droog, I think, comes through with the most clever bars of the three. Uh, it's really impressive. And, uh, you know, Mad Lib did his thing on the production as well, liking this one a lot. Again, DBZ is the title of it. Uh, moving on from there, a uh, Willow, Willow Smith, new album on the way. As you guys may remember, I really enjoyed the previous single she dropped from this forthcoming album, which uh, is titled Empathogen. Not crazy about the title, but uh, the song Big Feelings, whose lyrics I think could have been a bit more varied. It is, again, kind of sitting very firmly in that awesome 90s piano rock jazz lane. And, um, you know, it's very moody, is very intense, uh, great drums, great piano passages, uh, killer performance all around. Loving the vocals, too. The harmonies, especially, are fantastic on this track. Moving on from there, the Lemon Twigs come through with another track from their forthcoming LP, How Can I Love Her More? It is very Brian Wilson coded, very big Beach Boys vibes coming off of this song, uh, but they kind of, you know, spin, spin it into their own tune. It's cute. It's endearing. It's fun. I support it. Uh, thou, 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 if you love it heavy, if you love it hard, if you love it, if you love it harsh, you're going to love it thou, uh, who have this uh, new project umbilical on the way. And the, uh, the song I am pushing you guys to is I Feel Nothing When You Cry. 
Um, it is absolutely crushing. It is noisy. The riffs are hard. They are heavy. Uh, the vocals are quite nasty as well. Uh, just kind of liking the, the band's vibe and sound overall on this one, just after all these years. And that has been around for a minute. Uh, they sound just as ferocious as they did back in the day. All right. Um, also liking uh, this track I found off of a band camp. Uh, recently, Salami Rose, Salami Rose, Joe Lewis, and uh, Flanaffy, American Moss is the name of it. And it's kind of like this experimental electronic kind of art pop hybrid type tune uh, with some insane, uh, you know, keys and drums, just very busy, very intricate, very intense. I'm hoping to dig more into it in the near future, uh, you know, before the month is out. So uh, give it a try uh, before I get to sample the entire thing for sure. All right, moving on from there, uh, our favorite experimental quirked up pop Polish individuals. Uh, of course, that would be uh, Franek Wojciwa, uh, as well as Madi Buda, uh, have this uh, new computer EP out. And I just want to point you guys to the track uh, Wojciwa Kup. Uh, again, I'm very bad with <laughs> pronunciation on these names, on these songs, but what I do know is that these guys are uh, definitely writing some uh, and producing uh, some very out there and uh, strange, tongue-in-cheek, uh, experimental, skilled, but also, you know, very consciously silly, um, you know, pop hybrids uh, that are very uh, creative, to say the least. Uh, lots of charisma, lots of uh, zaniness to be had on these tracks. And again, uh, this track is a part of a whole EP. So if you like what you hear, uh, there's more where it came from. All right, uh, Drake, as you guys may remember, uh, because it just literally happened, has come through with a response, his uh, drop and give me 50 push-ups response to uh, Kendrick Lamar and Metro and everybody who's been going at him. Everybody has been going at him. Uh, you know, more details, more of a, a detailed review to follow for this diss track, for this, for this response, for this retort. Uh, but what I will say off the bat is that I feel like there's a lot of solid bars on this response, solid bars on the response, and it is nowhere near as disappointing as Seven Minute Drill was. Um, again, more thoughts to follow when I dig into it further and have more to say, uh, but you guys can uh, rest assured that um, I'm kind of digging, I'm kind of digging Drizzy's uh, effort here. You know, he, he was not uh, asleep at the wheel. I will say that uh, ghost writers or not. All right. Uh, we have a new one over here from uh, none other than caribou who has come through with a banger of a track, honey, great drops, great builds, driving dance beats. Um, yeah. Just continues to be one of the uh, best electronic music producers uh, Canada has ever given us. Uh, that is for sure. But uh, yeah, hopefully uh, just as many great songs uh, coming on a new record from Caribou uh, very soon. All right. Uh, we have a camera obscura who have uh, come through with a third single from their forthcoming album. They are three for three on the singles. This new one over here is again, very twee, very light, very cute, very pretty. Liberty print is the song. And uh, you know, if you like your uh, uh, indie pop, vibes to be a very blissful, very feel good. Give this one a listen. A couple more. Uh, we have Blue, who has a new project out right now that this uh, song over here, I'm G, OMG is a part of this song, goes hard as hell. Great refrain, great refrain, crazy production, insane synth layers on this one as well. Liking it a lot. Also, shout out to Beth Gibbons of Portishead fame, who has a new solo album on the way. Two for two on the singles as this new song over here is breathtaking. It is gorgeous. Really loving what she's doing with the uh, strings and string work on this uh, forthcoming album so far with the teasers. Reaching Out is the name of this cut. And uh, finally over here, Baby Rose. Singer Baby Rose has teamed up with Bad, Bad, Not Good for a new EP of tracks that, uh, you know, from what I'm hearing so far, uh, have a very big kind of soul flavor to them. Just uh, great vocal performances and awesome, tasteful uh, sort of vintage backing instrumentation from BBNG on these tracks. Uh, just linked a song uh, from the EP to you guys down below so you can check it out for yourselves. Uh, just kind of get you guys gatewayed into the EP because the whole thing is out now. It's breathtaking. It is gorgeous. It is just a, you know, beautiful uh, throwback soul with some, you know, kind of modern punch to it and just great vocal performances, great songwriting all around. Um, and I think that is going to be it for the uh, weekly track roundup, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. You're the best. Love you. Hope you're well. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's going to be it. 
more reviews this week. Uh, Anthony Fantano, weekly tracks forever.